Worthen FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 3-1 defeat to Chelmsford City in the National League South. Adam, what were your thoughts on the game? Um, yeah, lots of pleasing elements. I don't think we got going in the first 20 minutes or so. Um, it was a little bit off the place, didn't play with enough hunger and um, uh, intensity. Um, you know, similar to Weymouth really how we started and then against top teams you go 2-0 you go down. Um, you know, I'm not sure whether it's Joel or their attacker that's uh, headed the first one on, um, but you know it's a cheap goal to give away, and the second one's an absolute worldie. You've only hit one better, um, which you, you can get done with. Um, and yeah, I thought we responded brilliantly. So full credit to the players. We really took the game to them um, against a good, experienced side, um, and probably half time come at a bad time for us. We're just getting our foothold in the game, but you know you can't afford to go two 0 down and then stop playing. But um, yeah, it was just one of those days. I thought we was we was excellent on the ball um, and created lots of chances, lots of headers second half, um, but didn't get them on target. Uh, and that's the story uh, probably of our season a little bit. Um, why we've um, drawn so many games uh, and why we've got three defeats now is simply because um, you know we just don't take our chances, and you know it's it's frustrating, frustrating to watch because. You know, large parts of these games against top teams, I think we're the better team. But um, ultimately, you've got to be ruthless uh, in both boxes. And uh, we haven't been on enough times, enough occasions this season. It was obviously one of the top teams in the league, Chelmsford. They're fourth on the table for a reason. Is it that little bit of know-how and that extra level that they're just a little step ahead? Is that the difference maker in a game like today? Mm, I wouldn't say they're a little step ahead. Just that know-how, that nous and you know, get that from experience, didn't you? And I think they've got that in abundance in their side. And um, but yeah, still like we created chances. If Jav's had one headed over the bar, not even at the target inside the six-yard box. I think Lucas had two headers. Aaron's had a header from a corner that we worked. Um, I think even before they scored, I think JB and Joel had shots from what eight yards out and go over the bar. Um, yeah, so I think Lewis hits the post. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's simply just having players that can, can finish off them chances, isn't it, really? Um, you know, I don't think there's much difference. Um, you know, I'm really pleased with uh, how we played. Um, obviously, some grumbles about conceding the third goals in, in the manner we did, but, you know, it's, us playing out like that has led to goals in recent weeks, um, so we'll carry on doing it, um, just be a case of um, seeing how we can do it better um, on certain occasions, but you know, served this, served this well um, so far this season, so we'll carry on and strive to be better. Talk about those chances, and obviously there were quite a lot for us, a lot of them came from set pieces, crosses, headers, is that something that's been worked on recently, is that something that was going to be built on? No, yeah, we did spend a little bit longer just working on some set pieces, a couple of different routines that we've we've tried, um, which yeah, have done well. But I think you know, it might have been Jeff's one it was about you know, near one hundred passes, I think, before that come in. Just patient play, kept moving from side to side. Worked worked the overload, got a good delivery in the box, and uh, unfortunately we can just capitalise on the finish. Um, but. Like I say, the, the bravery that the, the lads played with um, was good, but you know against these top teams, we've got to find a way to start, like uh, with that hunger. Um, and yeah, we just took a bit too long to get going on that today. Joe Wright, amongst the players missing today, um, what's the word with him? Is he uh, injured or unwell or anything like that? No, just on the bench. Um, oh. Lucas done well, and uh, yeah, so he's just got to be patient, wait for his opportunity. Um, uh, he's played loads of games, real talented young player. Um, I think sometimes, you know, um, you know, it's just his mindset. I think he made a mistake in the last game and his mindset went a little bit. Um, but, you know, we've got a real talented boy on our hands there and we'll definitely see him in the upcoming weeks. Plenty of talent in that centre half position, so plenty of rotation and opportunities. Yeah, I think there's, there's, there's bags of talent in the squad at the moment, um, you know. Uh, but. I think it shows in our box to box play, but yeah, we've got to every single every single one of us, like not just not just the forwards today, with both full backs, Luca, Aaron, all back four have had a chance. 
at goal today and not hit the target with it. Um, you know, so it's not just the forward players. Um, and then defensively, the manner that we've considered three goals is, is very soft and you can't do that against top teams. Looking ahead to the next week, fixtures haven't been too kind on us. Chelmsford today, haven't on Saturday and then Nibs Fleet next Tuesday. A couple of tougher positions to come up against. How do you feel going into those? No, yeah, I honestly believe we can perform like that and you know, just adjust one or two things. Um, you know, we we'll we'll give a good account of ourselves and I think we did today. I thought we was excellent for large parts of the game. Played how uh, I want us to play. Um but yeah, just gotta find that, that last little bit and um you know, uh, hopefully today's result will will give us a bit of momentum and give us a bit of a um a reality check on what we need to be at and what our you know concentration levels need to be at. Um, but you know, one thing I think we're seeing a very good side. They play some brilliant football. Um, and it's good to watch. They're brave. Um, they keep going. Um, but we've got to learn quickly. Uh, it's a ruthless level uh, for young players to to learn their game. And we found that today. Thanks for your time. Last one. Cheers.